Hi, I'm going to discuss about the job scheduler. Uh, the, it's called Slurm. And the job scheduler is a session of the introduction to Upmax course day one. It's part of the session called real work or the section I should call. Um, we've already been using Rackham with a bit visual and visual tools and from the terminal. So we've logged into a remote desktop and we've logged in using SSH. Um, we've used the terminal a bit and now we're ready to do some real work. And what we've already been doing was modules. We, what we've already been doing is creating scripts so we can run a program that has modules. And now we're going to use the job scheduler. Um, so let's do it. So I'm not going to discuss the theory. I'm going to discuss the exercises. Um, sure, the job scheduler has three things. You have S-Batch to submit the job. As cancel to cancel them and as queue to verify. And most of it is in the documentation, like usual in this course. So we need to go to the Max documentation, sure, and we need to find the page on SQ, the program to view the job queue. Let's do it. So this is the Max documentation, you can see this here, and I press SQ, and there it is. Alright, uh, that's a very simple page. This is how you use it, this is how you use it for you. View all jobs in the queue. Well, for that, we obviously need to log into Rackham. So I'm going to use uh, SSH. Um, I'm going to use a terminal. You can use a remote desktop, that's just fine. SSH his shell at rackham.upmax.uu.se password. And now we are on Rackham. We are on a login node. We are on the first login node. Uh, username is Richel in my home folder. And I need to see the queue. Well, just judging from the documentation, you should use SQ. Sure, you could even going to copy paste it, Ctrl Shift V. And then here we see the queue. So I scroll up a bit. Uh, we see that some people are in the queue, having jobs that are already running. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of things. Like you can use it, th th there are a lot of jobs in the queue. Next, as I did that, that's just using SQ. View all your jobs in the queue. By going to the documentation, I see you have to use this. I'm going to paste it to Rackham, Ctrl Shift V, because it's a terminal. And I see that I have no jobs in the queue. So dash U dollar user means show me the jobs in the queue for this user. For Richel, I could also use dash U Richel. That would do the same thing. That actually does exactly the same thing. Right. So next thing. Exercise two. Find the up upmax documentation page about projects. Okay. What's this? Upmax documentation projects. Manager projects. I think I need upmax projects. Let's take a look. Uh -huh. Upmax project, no max user account, sure. View your existing Upmax project. What's it look like? Okay, this is super. What's this? The projects tab. Hmm, oh, so these are like your projects. Okay, sure. What's more? Convert the name, type of projects, apply to a project, sure. Alright, find that page. I've just done that. Where does that page redirect you? To view your projects, okay. To view your projects, that's here, and it redirects us to this website, I guess. Super. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. That this is it. View all your projects. All right. So, I'm. I need to log in. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna log in. I'm in Uppsala, I'm part of Uppsala University. I need to log in using the Uppsala login. That's part of my identity apparently, the two-factor authentication code. So for that I open my mobile phone. I need to look at super, not at Upmax, super. So super, you see it, S-U-P-R, super. And that has a two-factor authentication app. 
and now I authenticate myself to super and here you see all my projects so let's go back to the exercise view the project of this course okay view the project of this course let's go there so let's take a look is this it this is up max this is sense this is a sensible pro sensitive data this one yeah this is it up max introductory course 2024 this is it with Diana's coordinator these are all the students nice all right so I've done that uh, let's go back yeah so let's take one bit more of a look at the bottom at our resources so we have some compute resources so this is the amount of calculations we can do on Rackham um, and we have some storage space note also that you can compute on Dardell whatever that is and we can also store on Dardell too and this is our upmax storage server so we have like some storage that we're allowed to use um, for this course so that's done now we're going to need to submit no it's the next section. submit the minimal job with slurm parameters in the command line create a minimal bash script that does nothing it may or may not use a module oh that does something or something it may or may not use a module it does need a shebang but go ahead and omit it to see which error occurs all right create a bash script i can do that um, i go back to rackham and I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to rem remove my script and I'm going to create a new one. Touch my script. Dot SA. It needs to do something. Um, I'm going to make it say hello. Echo hello. This is bash. I'm going to add the shebang and maybe I'm going to show you how it looks like. Bin bash. The shebang, this is this first line because it's a hashtag and the bang, the shebang. Uh, tells bash that it's a bash script instead of an R script or a Python script. All right, I save using Control O, Control O, Enter, Exit using Control X, Enter. There. So I have my script. Uh, do I need to make it executable? Well, that's not imp important apparently. Find the page on S batch the program to submit a job on the queue. All right, that's easy. I'm gonna go back to the upmax documentation I'm gonna look for S batch there all right so that's uh, the job schedule as batches to submit a job sure found it use S batch to submit running your bash script to the queue all right sure let's take a look how do I submit ah yeah S batch minus a project code script file name all right so s batch dash a and then my script and here i need to know the code all right i don't know the code because i've just closed the, n the super nice website super nice dot se so we're going to go back and let's see where the course is so it is intro course so this is the project code but you do need to convert it I'm just going to paste it already here because I'm going to take a look at as batch I'm going to find out where to find how to convert this and that actually was shown in the documentation at projects Upmax projects. There's this conversion table here. So this is the project as you see it there, and this is how you convert it to use on a cluster. So that's lowercase nice. 2024 attached. This is a dash. This is a dash. There. Hey, it worked. Great, great, great. So back to the exercise. Use as batch to submit running your bash script to the queue. Use SQ to confirm that your job is in the job queue. All right, sure. So I press up to get the earlier command back. 
Hey, it's in the job queue. That's great. So I don't know how long it will take for this job to run, but it's there. And also we don't care much now um, what it's doing. So exercise four, we're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to put all the Slurm parameters in the Bash script itself. So you need to find the page on Sbatch again, that's here. And now we're going to scroll down where we put the parameters in the script. So, so this is how you call it then, but the, the thing like the dash A's will get in the script, sure I can do that. And so that means I need to modify the script to add that line. Or th I found it. Modify your bash script in such a way that it can be submitted to the queue. Music, but up. I can do that. I'm going to nano my script there. I'm going to copy paste this line there. <coughs> I don't know my project code, that's a bit annoying. Um, I'm going to save it. Close. I'm going to copy paste this thing because that is my project code. I'm going to edit my script again and I put it where it should belong. There. Control O to save. Control X to exit. And now my script is complete. And the exercise is to run it like that. Sure, let's do it. Works! Let's take a look at the queue just to see if there are two jobs. No, the first job has finished. Uh, I can see that because this number is different than that number. Like if I do this a couple of times, you see that the numbers increase. And you see that there are now multiple jobs waiting in the queue. Great! Alright, now we need to cancel a job. I can't imagine because like by accident I have now six times the same job running. We need, it's time to cancel a job. Find the page on S cancel. That should be easy as usual. So start to the documentation, search for S cancel. There, there's a page dedicated to it, and it's S cancel the job number. Like S cancel the job number. I can do that. S cancel. I'm going to paste this one. This is the newest. There. Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. So these are still in the queue, but this one I just canceled. I guess that was the exercise. To the exercise, schedule a job and cancel it. Oh, whoa. optional thing: schedule a job that takes one day, two hours, three minutes, and four seconds, and cancel it. Use the slurm documentation on S badge. So let's do that. So I guess I need to look for duration. Maybe I need to look for time. Time limit. Let's see this. Oh, that seems like a useful one. Nah, that's how often. Mm -hmm. um, maybe time. There. Set a limit on the total runtime of the job. And the format. The format can be days, hours, minute. Days, hours, minute, seconds. I can do that. So that is the job, dash dash time, one day, two hours, three minutes, four seconds. And you can use dash dash time, but dash t is, um, is sometimes better, because for sbatch it doesn't matter, but for a script called interactive, you need to use dash t instead of the full thing. So you're going to use dash t can see it here, dash T in the documentation. Ah, well, you could see it in the documentation, dash dash time there, dash T. There, um, this is an invalid time specific because it needs to be a dash here. Uh, mm -hmm. Dash dash time, dash dash. 
look where we could find this dash dash time here days dash so this is a dash this is not a colon this is a colon this is a colon yeah so there this should work and indeed it worked uh, so it's in the queue now it takes it takes longer and I cancel it just for show let's cancel this thing Tick. there also I could put this dash t in my bash script let's do that too nano my script tick hashtag as a batch there I can put it there too and now I can do as batch my script and now it will run very long uh, but I don't need to specify anything anymore I cancel it I view my queue to see if it's empty and it's empty all right, so here I've showed you how to use the job scheduler on AppMax, but it works for all Slurm system because the job scheduler is called Slurm. I wish you a very good day. Bye.